So if you're just getting started with FarmOS and, and you, you know, want to get set up up and running, there's a couple of options. FarmOS is open source, so it is possible for you to download the, the code yourself and set it up to run uh, on your own server. It runs like a website, so you need to have a web server that you can host it on with a database and uh, PHP, um, because FarmOS is built using Drupal. So there's some instructions here in the getting started guide. Um, and again, there's kind of two ways you can go about this. You can host it yourself or you can use a subscription hosting service. So the subscription hosting gives you the ability to just get up and running and pay someone else to host it for you instead of, uh, instead of hosting it yourself. So I, I offer hosting service through my company called Farmier, which um, gives you the ability to just get up and running with a FarmOS site immediately. And you, you get your own domain at myfarm.farmos.net. So you can log in immediately and start using, using your records. It also includes automatic updates when new ver versions come out, automatic backups, and SSL uh, encryption security. Um, if you are interested in setting it up yourself, we have an installation guide. Uh, FarmOS is built on top of Drupal, so a lot of the installation is, um, a lot of the instructions for that are just general Drupal installation instructions. But FarmOS.org also includes information about any additional uh, FarmOS specific installation requirements that you might, you might need to run. Um, so you can check that out. Um, there's also, if you are hosting it yourself, you'll want to familiarize with, with how to update it moving forward. So when new versions come out, uh, it's important to stay up to date because there's new features and bug fixes and security patches when they when they become available. Um, so there's some there's some documentation about that here too. So if you're interested in signing up for the for the subscription service through Farmier, you can click on this link. Just go to farmier.com and then click Try Farm OS. You can type in your farm name and it will auto create a URL for you. You can change this if you want to. Just enter your email address. Location is optional. This will set up an initial area for you. Uh, your, your system of measurement, imperial or metric. And then you can sign up and that'll, that'll just create, create a site for you automatically and send you an email with, uh, with a login link so you can get started immediately. The, uh, currently the cost of hosting for FarmOS through FarmYear is $50 a year. That's the beta price while we're while we're kind of working in the beta version of FarmOS. So that'll probably go up a little bit once 1.0 comes out, but it's it's always going to be my priority to have a very affordable uh, service available for the hosting through Farmier, and the Farmier hosting helps support the project because uh, it you know provides a little bit of uh, income for me to keep working on it as an open source maintainer.